一人一人の動き、銃の撃ち方、やつら普通の組織じゃねえ。まるで軍隊のようだった。I think there's 13 chapters in this game again, so this is probably the rising action. 大丈夫か、大悟。What chapter number did it say it was again? Nine. 体は問題ないのか。Wow, we're, すみません。Feels like we're barely into this game. There's a lot of stuff going on. I'm betting shit's gonna start yeah. popping off. One after the other in these next few chapters. Yeah, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. 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 I'm gonna get the fuck out of But it feels like this is the first third of the game, not entering the last third. Yeah. It helps that we've been punctuating in the other end. Yeah, it does again. It's not that we've been punctuating in the other end. But still, only about. Maybe 10 hours of game so far. Yeah. 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 But we've also been like massively spacing out that 10 hours with stuff like Ghost Club and、uh, the other silly little side games. Yeah. Yeah. But still, it feels like this is the first third of the game. Yeah. 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 But now we're getting a flashback. So that's a flashback because they have old flashbacks. That's some real like 80s or 90s looking shit. That's some real like 80s looking shit. That's some real like 80s looking shit. Maybe. That is.、Uh... Yeah. I think it's likely to get a release date announced at E3 because it's going to be at the Atlas. That, that sounds like it would make sense. And,、uh, I imagine it would actually kind of have a better shot at E3 now than it has in the past because a lot of people pulled out. And it's a prequel. It's a probably good starting point. Yeah. In fact, yeah, you've got the,、uh, you've got Yakuza Zero and you've got Yakuza 1 remake, haven't you? They haven't announced the remake for over here. I'm hoping that also gets announced at E3. But they might yeah, save it for the, that's what I'm thinking. They might save it for the PlayStation experience again. Maybe. But it seems like if you want to announce one, if you're doing a prequel, you probably want to announce them both together. That's true. This feels natural to me. I'm just glad it's starting to be presented a little bit better over here. Mm -hmm. And it seems like it's really picked up a bit more momentum with people. I've actually seen people discuss it a bit more often than I used to.、Mm -hmm. Like, it seems like it was only sort of core fans who knew what Yakuza was, people who weren't me, basically. Yeah. It's getting a little bit more exposure.、Mm -hmm. I'd say it's deserving of that. Yeah. That's, that's the place to put your base. Alright, Yakuza Zero has a disco m a n i a That'll be fun. That mustache. <laughs> It looks so shitty. It looks shittier than my mustache right now. That's a. That's a tall order. Kazama no Oyaji san wa Shimano no Ojiki to tomo ni. Jingon ha no Ajito ni nori konde. Soshiki o kaimetsu sase ta. Kekka Dojima gumi wa Kamuro chou o shichu ni osame. Tojo kai de no seiryuku o noba shita. その後、シマノのおじきは独立して、シマノ組を直系に昇格させた。その時の構想で、ドジマ組一派、組織を大きくしたってわけか。ドジマ組だけじゃない。東上会もその勢いに乗じて関東一円に組織を拡大させていった。でも今の話じゃ、人言派は壊滅したことになるんじゃないのか。So, 
Not I'm not one for Japanese shops. Where is the Kanto region? Tokyo. Area. The Tokyo area. It, it, it's a lot bigger than that, but that's the center of it. That's a big, important region. It's in the east of Japan. Okay. ジンゴン派の実態をつかみかねてたんだ。ま、そう。ま、そう。ま、そう。ま、そう。ま、そう。ま、そう。ま、そう。ま、そう。ま、そう。ま、そう。ま、そう。ま、そう。ま、そう。
Ch you're right, Kazuma's a busy man, he doesn't always have time to get up to date on terms like double date and he kind of misinterprets it. Yeah. It's, it's forgivable. I haven't been keeping she track really of how long this episode waiting. is. Uh, this episode has been about 13 minutes. Okay. This date, or this restaurant, we can order everything. Yeah. We did it last time we went on one of these. Oh, and it's all little stuff, hmm, so... What hmm, what should I order? Every single thing on the menu. There's egg. There's a cucumber roll. Oh, look, they explained it. That's oh. nice of them. There's some, some tuna. Some sh sweet shrimp. I don't know what Engawa is. Okay. Sure. I don't know what this is either. This is octopus. Oh, it's raw octopus. Okay. This, I think this does not look like the sort of place I would eat ass ass all. It's all seafood. I don't think I've ever had raw octopus. I've had raw squid. It didn't. It didn't say raw. But it says nama taco. Nama means uh, raw. It can mean fresh, but I think it normally mm. means raw. I'm going slowly just because I want to see what all these fish are. Cause I Man. don't. I don't know my sushi name very much. There's fish eggs. The salmon eggs. They're salty little. You poppers. and this date are gonna. You've got 13 dishes. You're gonna die in this restaurant. Yeah, but look, they're like one piece per thing. This You're is... gonna be swimming like a fish in mountains of fish. This is fatty tuna. That's good stuff. That's why it's 25 bucks for one piece. Sea urchin row. A lot of people like that a lot. I've never tried it. And then this miso soup. Oh, uh, with lobster. An entire lobster. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, this seems like the sort of place I would never go. You don't like seafood? Not at all. I've never really liked seafood. I love seafood. Not since I was a very young child. We eat fish all the time here. My family do. It's just I don't. I would hope you're stuffed. Shit, you're stuffed. Yeah. You spent about $400 worth of food. That was a good fucking date I took you on. Hmm. Well, actually, if you have that much food, is it a good date or is that a terrible date? It's expensive food. It sounds food. terrible. Just because it's expensive, it doesn't mean that because you pigged out and ate all of the food it's that a it was good. It's a fancy dinner. Let's see, are there any new... If, if someone like kind of pulled that trick on me and uh, bought me shitloads of food, I would feel obligated to eat it, even if I didn't want any of the food. Okay, there is a side quest here. So what have you been up to in the uh, interlude since we last recorded? Let's see. I played through the entirety of the new Ratchet and Clank game. It's what did you think? Uh, it's very good. I played a bunch of the new game plus too. Mm. Um, I remember for Ratchet and Clank 3, I believe I played for the new game plus in that about nine times. That was in my first playthrough of the game. I was like, yep, go again. Go I ha again. I have the second one. I've been meaning to start it up, but. I'd say that if you're looking at the PS2 area, a uh, Era of Ratchet and Clank games, then uh, 3 is probably the most polished. Yeah. 2 is probably the longest. Yeah, but I figure I might as but... well play them in order. Oh yeah, definitely check them out. Um, Ratchet and Clank 1, the original, is probably the worst, just because it feels a bit clunkier, right. the weapons are yeah. a bit lamer. It isn't too late, you finally pick up the uh, Insomniac thing that they're known for now of 
crazy goofy weapons. Yeah, the weapons. But two also has a fair bit of padding in it. The weapons are pretty good in the remake. Mm -hmm. Okay, you is not in here. It looks like a really good game. So, whatever. Who is he looking for? I was looking for you, yeah. Hmm. But I guess not. Do you want to keep moving on with the plot? Uh, well, we don't know if we'll be able to come back here, so... Have we got any more host stuff that we need to get for? We haven't been called for a oh, host Oh god, you thing. just... You basically just took that guy's leg out. Whoa. I think someone approached us at the end of the last mission. No, because we hadn't done the date yet. I, I swear I just saw a guy's face through the back of his head. Terrifying. How much money do I have? It's, the face is looking at you for tripping that other guy over. Like it shocked him so much his face turned into the back of his head. Maybe. Um, let's go see if there's another orphanage quest. Yeah, that's a good point actually. We haven't... I think there was, and it was an absolute fortune. It was like 400,000 or something like let's that. See. Or 300,000. Uh, we did number three. Let me just go through my little document here. Yeah, I'd say Ratchet and Clank 2 suffered with a uh, fair bit of optional side padding where, like, the. They had these big crystal searches, but they did it the same crystal search twice, basically, where you could go grind out money. And uh, they did it again in Ratchet and Clank 3, but they didn't do it twice. Okay. And they also made it totally clear that you never need to go in there, ever. So you need to do f uh, 100,000. So we'll do that in an installment plan here. So what do you reckon she's actually spending this money on? In it's definitely not the children. In making sure the orphanage doesn't fall down? Um... This is a lot of money you're giving her. She's just standing down the street. How do you even know she's associated with the uh, orphanage? I think she's proven it a few times. Eh, whatever. She's probably spending it on designer drugs. Hey. Probably. Who knows? I don't need evidence to back this claim up. Okay. So, so there's no problem? Oh. Oh, she was just the interim headmistress. See? She, she could be making a uh, run for the mo with the money. She's gonna build them a park. She's taking you for a ride here, man. Just happens to know that Kazuma's wallet is deep. How much is this park then? I don't know, we have to find her contractor. Ah. Did we have a business card? That's the fake one. Okay, so this is saying we have to do. Wait, what? Oh. It said. It says to. Give her the one from the fake people. Oh, you know what? I get it. Uh, it's because we beat the shit out of them, so they're going to do it on the cheap for us. Yeah. I get it. I was very confused why we'd be calling those scumbags for this. So basically we're threatening these guys into doing cheap play before us. Hmm... Kazuma, sort your priorities out, mate. I don't know. Kazuma can network like a motherfucker. They proved themselves untrustworthy before. Yeah. Why but... would they be trustworthy now? Because uh, they don't want to get the shit beat out of them again. They could easily make a split before Kazuma can catch them. And their money taken. Eh, okay, I guess. It just seems like... Seems like you just abandon the entire imitation renovations business. You know what you should probably do? Huh. Buy a second pair of underwear. 
Nah, I have the one. I'm good. Why does why does that place even stock underwear? Because Don Quixote stocks everything. Do they really stock underwear in real life? Yes, they absolutely do. It just seems like an insane shot. It is a little bit. Oh, you know what? I just remembered. There's somebody in that parking lot at the top that told us to come alone. I think it was the old lady. Was she the one who hit on you? Yes. Mm hmm. Alright, we haven't finished that yet. So, you played uh, Ratchet and Clank. Anything right. else? Um, I've been playing a lot of Pocket Card Jockey. I've never even heard of that. It is a game freak what, game, what is it? so it's the people who make Pokemon for the 3DS. It is mm -hmm. a combination horse racing and solitaire. Okay. And that that is a very this hard sell like saying bullshit. that. But it's really yeah. fun. And it's also only seven bucks. I'm not sure I'd spend seven anything on solitaire. I don't know. It's really it's really good. I got another picture. That's a really shitty drawing. Well, they're orphans. Doesn't mean they can't have art lessons. Doesn't it? Nah. Skype, what are you doing, Skype? Is Skype chugging? It's not giving me an image at all. Oh. Yeah. Well. Shall we hang up the call real quick? Yeah, I guess we should. I'm gonna do this. I clapped so I would see where this is when I'm editing. Yeah, I, I've done that in a recording before. See it now? Yeah, it's super pixelated, but I think that's the best we're going to get. Just okay. because Skype is balls quality at all times. Okay, we're, we're done with this orphanage chain here. Will we ever see Haruka again uh, in this game? Not sure. We got a she seems like a massive afterthought to this game. We got a ton of yeah. experience. You're right. Oh god, he just tosses a guy in this booth. You've got to use this. Yeah. Oh. The scarf and item I can equip? Yeah, it doesn't give you anything good. Oh, no, it's it, not. It just decreases your defense. Not particularly great. Let's get up that parking lot, and that can probably be the end of this episode. Mm hmm. But, uh. Puck yeah, Jockey's Arthur really good. seems like a. <laughs> Buy the game. There's a demo. <laughs> it's what are you saying? It's a pretty long demo. I think it's about two hours long. You know what you should also buy? Huh. Today is Stall Arbus Day. You should buy Stall Arbus. Everyone should buy Stall Arbus. Everyone? It's a good game. Yeah, everyone. Even people who don't own computers, they don't know what a computer is. Maybe don't even have hands, so they can't use a computer even if they did know what one is. So, what they about... probably... What about me, who does, did not like CK2 at all, basically? I spent like this is six... nothing like CK2. Okay, because I spent like six hours trying to wring fun out of that and couldn't do it. CK2 is a game for very specific people, and you've got to go in into it with a very specific mindset. And you've also got to accept that for a few hours, you will have no clue what is going on at all. At least six, but, uh, as a matter of fact. <laughs> but uh, Stellaris is. Uh, Kind of a completely different beast to CK2. Okay. The only comparisons I can draw are to other Paradox games, but it is kind of 
Uh, it wouldn't be native to you, but it's kind of like colonizing an EU4 for a lot of the time. Or so it feels like for me. Which I was not a fan of in EU4, but it's all right in this. How utterly impenetrable is it? It is completely penetrable. Oh. It has heavy tutorializing. Oh, that's good. It has the most well integrated tutorial in the Paradox game. Oh, well, I mean. It is. Judging just from CK2, that's absolute. not a high bar to clear. It has better tutorializing than most grand strategy games. Um, basically, in the top right corner, you've got a little. You've got basically a clippy. A Microsoft clippy. And he will talk to you and give you an overview of what each thing is and tell you what it is for. Okay. And uh, it will give you contextual information as you are doing things. So it's actually a very useful uh, source of tutorialization to someone who hasn't really gotten deep into grand strategy games before. So I'd say it is definitely a good entry point for any of any Forex kind of game, really. Okay, maybe I'll actually look into this one then. You definitely should. Um, although beware that even though it has good tutorial um, information in it, like good direction on what you're supposed to do, it is still... You expect to fail a bit before you succeed. As long as I know, because... as long as I can know why I'm failing instead of it just happening. Oh, um, in the four hours I have played so far, maybe even five hours, every single time I've known why I've failed, um, I'm still yet to succeed. Oh right, I forgot My this. My current species. I forgot this old lady does fucking oh, ninja yeah. flips. Oh, I just, I just. Should you try and use a new move if you can? I I was trying. But uh Okay, I need I need to pause so I can actually see it. Unarmed. Finishing kick. Dodge shot. Is it in grappling? Oh, from it's it's a heat mode thing. Okay, so I need to, I need to be in heat mode. So yeah. Uh, I don't think, the, I don't think I'm gonna get it in here. Nah, you're not. These guys are way too dexterous and they... He seems to be very good at just knocking you out of heat, or knocking you just enough to, to make your heat decrease. Yeah. Yeah, it's still harvest right now. I'm playing uh, Spider Space Slavers. Um, my entire gimmick is that I'm enslaving everyone. That sounds like your kind of gimmick. Yep, that is precisely my kind of gimmick. I'm always an extreme in games. Fuck you guys, so I want to pick my stick back me. up. <laughs> he needs it to walk, man. Get fucked, dude. <laughs> no, get out of here. <laughs> That was heat. Is that a set of dishes? It's an ashtray. Ah, okay. But yeah, for a uh, budget title, that Stellaris actually is. It's only $40. Oh, is it? Oh, I thought actually, it was a full game. Uh, yep. Uh, it is a full game. It's just. I'm not sure why they're doing it, but they did it with City Skylines as well, and I think I have an idea of why Paradox are doing this. It's to make the entire buy into a series as well known for being DLC heavy, more friendly to new people. Lower the entry price point so that way people can sort of um, I think be I might... more forgiving with 200 pieces of DLC. I think I'm gonna die. Yeah, you're getting. Absolutely destroyed. This is harder than these guys are rough. This is harder than boss fights. Mm. This is fast. Well, we might see what the substitute stone does. Yeah, I guess. 
This guy picked up my fucking stick. Go get fucked. <laughs> it's like the ultimate insult. It's like using his finishing move against you. Or your finishing move against you, even. But, uh... What the hell? Did, yeah. Does, um, I, do I have to use the substitute stone? And not have... Oh, Either way, it doesn't matter that much. You should just come back here. Oh, yeah, you do have to use it. Oh, no, you have to equip it? Hmm. That's a bit weird. I don't really think it matters since you are saved right here. Did you immediately drop that stick? He kicked me! Did some dude just clip you and you drop the stick? I hate this fight. I hate this fight. I hate this sub-quest line. God, Kazuma. How weak are you? This is Why worse- you This is worse than the Dante fight. Nah, it's not that bad. Dante was really bad. Dante didn't have five oh, fucking God. Do flip not go masters. between those cars. I'd try and pull them away from those cars if I were you. It looks like a place to just get stun locked. Do I have to Dark Souls this fight? Yep. Except Dark Souls, you don't change your lock on target and locks you onto a rock. I think you can do it this time. Maybe. I'll use that a bit lower. I don't think at this point there's any point in using it when you're a bit wobber. It didn't recover all your health last time. Yes, it did. It's a maximum health one. Nah, I, I think it means the maximum that a potion can heal you. I'm pretty oh, sure it's wow. still that, tiny. That's real sick. stupid. Yeah, it is real dumb, but video games. That's what they do. Unclear wording. Okay, we're gonna... I couldn't even do my thing. Nope. Just got knocked right out of here. How much do you think the, uh, the stone will recover? I don't know. Let's take bets on it. I'm gonna say like a quarter of your health. If you're lucky. Well, we'll certainly see. Well, that's new. We've never seen that before. Oh. Did you just stop a guy with a blunt object? I did. At least I ended the fight. Uh, we ended that pretty good. Ouch. That, that, look, he's even standing there, gripping his stomach. You fucked that poor guy up. Yeah, sure. He's the one who got fucked up. Yeah, I'd like to know as well. Is she the new galoshes? No, because we have a galoshes. Well, maybe you can hook them up. He seems like he's a bit lonely. She's definitely lonely since she hits on you all the time. Well, oh, wow, you just got passed up for you, yeah. Hey, we got a host thing. Alright. 
maybe do that next and then wrap up with the, uh, what? Yeah, let's go eat some ramen, because my health is real low. Maybe we can get both of those, we'll see. Hmm. And then we'll end this episode. With hopefully a new right, ramen then. friend. Hopefully. I wonder what weapon he'll use. Or how he'll back us up in a fight. I don't know. Like, I'm having trouble kind of coming up with how Varman can help you in a fight. It's Maybe he just smashes a bowl over someone's head? It's very hot. It is. But I can't see this game, even though it's animated guys getting impaled with a blunt object, I can't see it having them pour boiling hot water yes, over someone's head. Can't you? Not this early. It still seems semi-serious at this point. We're on a first name basis now. Hmm. Next you're moving in. Then marriage. Then kids. It's a fast moving world. But that's this episode of GameCube Plays Yakuza 2. I'm Mike. I'm another person of AP, and as always, keep it juicy.